Haley, girl, do you have any idea the power that you have and the spirit team that you have at your side? This negative entity situation that you're dealing with right now, you could get rid of it on your own. Like, you are so powerful, you just don't even know about it. You don't even know. Girl! Okay, so this video, hopefully, I will be able to provide you with a better understanding of everything that's going on. And I'm going to kind of be reacting to part of your video of the updated situation of everything that's going around in your new place. And hopefully, I can give you some insight on what's going on, what you can do about it, and hopefully give you a peace of mind. But if you don't know who I am, I'm Emily the Fine Art Medium. I am a psychic medium who specializes in the paranormal, which means I also specialize in hauntings and attachments and helping people identify them and getting rid of them for clients. So hopefully I'm going to be able to, and even if you're not Haley Reese and you're watching this video, you can still apply this information to yourself which is great. So, without further ado, here we go. So first things first. Your spirit guides heavily emphasize that I needed to relay this information in the correct way to not spread fear, but also to show you your fullest potential while also helping you get rid of this thing. And it's very complicated, but so I know what the entity looks like. I know what it is. And they didn't want me to focus too much on the entity itself. I'm still going to give you some information on it, but they don't want me to spend too much time on it because they don't want to, you know, have you relive any traumas based off of the things that have happened because of it. Ooh, I'm getting a burning sensation. Girl, are you getting some burning sensations? And actually, speaking of burning sensations, when I was doing this meditation, I felt a burning sensation on my stomach, and it felt like two, like, nails were being dragged across my skin, and I'm feeling it again now on my wrist, so that's, that's weird. But, anyway, so the thing is with this, you think you got it from one of your cases, so Spirit specifically showed me, um, some things here. Now, I was shown, like, a dark wooden, like, tall, like, building structure. So it had, like, a pointed roof, and it was long in the front. And to me, it gives church vibes. And I also got, like, burial ground vibes. So I'm wondering if it's, like, a church with a cemetery. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I have seen your content over the years, so I do know a little bit about you more than the other you know, creators that I have made videos for. So guys, I can't take 100% credit. And so I just want to be fully open and honest about that. So I do know some things about her and I'll be upfront when I talk about that. But they're telling me that you must have done like a spirit box session. I'm pretty sure you did at a cemetery that specifically had like a church to it or next to it. Or it could have been where you lived, but they're specifically showing me this location from where this entity is from. And because, and you probably know this, Haley, you are a medium. Whether you are, like, practicing or not, naturally, you are a medium. And it saw your bright, beautiful light, and it was like, ooh, I'm gonna get me, you know, some of that energy there. And it was attracted to you. It's not anybody's fault. Okay, negative entities are drawn to those that radiate like a lighthouse. I am the same way. But so it saw your energy and was like, hoo, 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 hoo. And that's where it came from. Now, this is an entity that came from and was produced by a type of witchcraft 
situation. It's not a demon, so don't worry about that. It's not a demon. It's just negative, and it was produced from witchcraft. Now, it took a liking to you, and it really likes you because of your energy, and so it's very possessive of you, and I'm pretty sure you did state this in the video. You're like, it's jealous of your significant other, and it has done things because it wants you to himself, and it doesn't want any competition. Spirit spouse. Or it's at least becoming and trying to become one. Um, in your past location, you probably noticed some paranormal activity, like things moving around or noises. I heard skittering. You might have heard skittering. This thing is a shapeshifter and can take the form of anything at once. And so it is very parasitic and draining, like an energy vampire. It is an attachment, which is why it followed you when you moved. But here's the thing, Haley. You're doing the right thing. When you're cleansing your space and cleansing, like, the furniture and your belongings, that's a great step. You're doing a great job. But because it's an attachment, there's another half of the cleansing that you're missing. And that is yourself. So, yes, Sage and Palo Santo will help if you do it on yourself. But I feel like in your case, it would be very beneficial if you went to a Reiki healer that specialized in removing negative energy and attachments. And you are very high vibrational naturally as a person. And so you have the ability to, to kick it out on your own. And your spirit team will help you as well. But you're not alone, okay? Because you have so many supporters that will help you get rid of this thing. And because you are already cleansing your space in your new house, it's actually making it difficult for it to use energy to become stronger because you cleared it out, which is awesome. In your other house, the reason why it was so strong was because, ooh, I'm getting dizzy. Whoo! You might be getting some dizzy spells. <laughs> But the reason why it was stronger in your old house was because it had that residual energy. It had something to latch onto and pretty much feed off of to make itself stronger. But because you cleansed your new space, it doesn't have that. And so it's starting to further back away from you, which is great. So it's already coming away from you. You just need that final, like, you know... <laughs> nudge to get it completely gone and so that's where the reiki will help you and using your own abilities and using your own light to get it off so there's nothing to be afraid of and it uses your fear to feed off of you that's the thing it does this paranormal stuff to put you in that fear state because the state of fear is low vibrational Okay, and so when you are in a lower vibratory state, it's easier for the negative things to come and latch on, but also feed off of you. And I'm going to go through more specifics here of what's going on. So, Haley, you're an astral traveler, and I'm pretty sure you know this. But a lot of the lucid dreams you think are dreams are not lucid dreams. They're astral realm experiences. And actually, you have a bunch of psychic abilities, mediumship abilities. So Haley, you have some mediumship abilities, whether you want to pursue them and make them stronger is highly up to you. You do not have to, but if you want to, you can. You are clairvoyant, and a lot of the clairvoyant information you get is going to come through astral experiences and dreams. Spirit likes to communicate to you through dreams. Now, on the flip side, you'll have negative things try to come in and, you know, mess that all up. But if you, you know, keep your protection routine up, if you, you know, you can go to sleep with the holy oil on your, all your chakras, you can wear black tourmaline on you as you go to sleep and then have it under your mattress as well. That'll also create a barrier for things to not be able to mess with you on the physical and in invade your space. Keep up your cleansing rituals. You're doing a great job. 
the attachment, like I said, is creating negative responses in you to feed off of your energy and to keep you lower. When you're higher, when you're in that higher state, it's hard for negative things to mess with you. So the attachment is creating a negative response out of your fear. So don't be afraid. I know it's easier for me to be like, don't be afraid. I lived it. I lived through a demonic haunting, okay? It was bad. And through that demonic haunting, I had to regain my power and erase my fear. And once you erase your fear, you're going to notice your day-to-day -day life, especially your spiritual end of things, and like the haunting situation or attachment situation will get much better because it, again, it won't have anything to pull from. It attacks your health and you know this. It attacks your health because that's one of your weak points. It's one of my weak points. So I can fully relate. But also when your energy is being drained from like not even just the entity, it makes you sick. Again, same thing for me. And it leaves you vulnerable and more apt to getting sick and more vulnerable to attacks from that entity and other things that might want to attack you. And I feel like you said you have a lung situation. You might have said it in other videos too. So I can't take credit for this, but this is, this is what I got during my meditation. It felt like the air was being sucked from my lungs. And... While you do have a condition, again, you know this, the entity is playing on that. It knows you have an anxiety with that condition. And so it'll make you feel like you're having a flare up or like your condition is either worsening or just like bothering you to give you that anxiety that something wrong is going on when it's that thing messing with you. So it can produce a fear response again and feed off of it. It is draining you because, you know, it is a type of parasitic attachment and energetic vampire. But like I said, it's getting actually further and further from you, which is great. So your spirit guides specifically wanted me to relay this to you and you might already do this, but using breathing exercises to stabilize your breathing and help you with anxiety. So it's supposed to help you with your breathing, right? Um, and it's also supposed to help you with your anxiety. And it's something you can introduce into your meditative practices if you haven't already. Now, I did pull some cards. I have a special, I have multiple special decks, one that I created myself, but specifically to give you more information and I used this um, John Holland Lauren Rainbow um, mediumship training deck. Okay. It's a really good deck, especially if you're new into this, but it has very good information. So, and I always pull to validate. I don't pull beforehand. I do my meditations first and then I pull to make sure it validates what I'm saying so I'm on the right path. So these are the validating cards that I had pulled. The first one, sitting in your power. I said this, you need to soak up your power. You need to understand what you are capable of because you don't, you do not know the power that you hold. So when learning to connect with the other side, it is essential that you make time to get to know your own spirit. If you've randomly pulled this card, and spirit is calling you to take time now and sit in your own power. It is time for you to consciously focus on your own inner light and tap into the unlimited spiritual power within you. Take a moment to close your eyes and imagine you're slowly and gently breathing in light. Allow that light to fill your physical body, letting it expand your own energy and aura. Continue to breathe in this simple manner, allowing some time to sit and be in the expansion of your own loving light. And you know what's very interesting? This is a breathing technique. Keep it simple in the beginning as you develop this technique, allowing time to get comfortable with this practice. Notice whether you feel energy in certain areas of your body or chakras. Do you see images in your mind? Do you hear sounds or music? 
moments of profound silence are to be expected and are quite normal. By devoting time to this breathing meditation, it will help you expand your awareness and allow your psychic and mediumistic abilities to grow and flourish. It will also help you revitalize your body, mind, and soul, bringing you to a place of balance and harmony. Once you learn to tap into your own spirit and power, you can access it at any time. And when you get to that point, when you see anything trying to bother you, you just let it loose and bye-bye, all gone. So that's why I really needed to make this video for you because I feel like you need to harness your own power and just be the best you can be. Another one that I pulled, nurturing thyself. This has to do with um, making sure if you are not feeling well, or even before you get to that point, make sure you take breaks and you take time for yourself. If you feel crummy, don't dive into any paranormal or true crime cases. You don't want any of that negative energy to influence your health because let's face it, you have health problems and negative things will mess with them. Who I'm getting burning on my neck, what the heck? Hold on, I gotta I was like, not today. Mm -mm. This is not the first time I felt burning. I've tried to record this video like 20 freaking times and each time I've tried to do it, burning. And that's another thing. It uses burning to scare you. Like the scratches and stuff, that scratch you had on your stomach, I know was not fake. I know because during that meditation, I felt those scratches and it burned. And I've been feeling them all over my body as I try to film this video. But anyway, when you're feeling yucky, don't be diving into things that are like negative, especially paranormal things, because you can attract those things to you. And it's like when you focus on certain things, whether you watch documentaries, movies, or research based on a real entity, just that going into that and reading and looking into things can make your vibration level to that and bring them to you. It's like a doorway or a, um, what's the best term? It creates a pathway for it to come and mess with you essentially. Also, this card, the medium's toolbox, which essentially is like, keep doing your experiences and going out and doing things because spirit needs your experiences in order to communicate effectively to you because they will use images and words and things that are special to you and they will use your experiences to convey messages and yeah so it's very important and you have access to that at all times you have access to this at all times so yes I want to also point out your spirit guides. The two that I saw, very beautiful. And I will post a picture over here. I did an AI rendering of them with, you know, all the attributes that I saw and the pictures that I was able to create. They're as close as I could get, but they're pretty accurate. So these are what your guides look like. So the first one, I saw a mermaid and I'm like this makes no sense Haley is an air sign I think she's an Aquarius I believe your birthday is one day after my brother's so yeah you're an Aquarius which is an air sign and I'm like why would she have a mermaid spirit guy it makes no sense okay the imagery for an Aquarius is like a mermaid fish person holding like a um, jug of water and the water coming out duh I'm so dumb sometimes but that makes sense. But sometimes, you know, your spirit guides don't have to do with your zodiac signs. But I just found it interesting. But anyway, so she is a mermaid with like turquoise aqua -y skin, navy blue lips, black long curly hair. Her scales are like very holographic, translucent -y, 
metallic-y, all at the same time. It's so weird. But they're like green, blues, purples, very beautiful. And like, depending on how the light hits it, will depend on the color that it shimmers. So that's one spirit guide. Your other spirit guide is a, is a, a being that looks like a fairy, like a Tinkerbell kind of fairy, not like the fae, like the tall fae, but like a Tinkerbell sized fairy. She is pink, like a bubblegum pink, like her entire body. Her skin is pink. Her hair is again, long and curly and pink. Um, she sparkles. Her, her wings are very like that 90s holographic like white but translucent -y shines like pink greens blues very beautiful again I'll put a picture up here um I couldn't get the wings exactly to how I saw them but you know oh other thing I saw or two other things and I forgot to AI render it but you have two cat beings with you and they look like panthers. They're massive cats, but they're also very similar to the fairy being I was seeing. So their fur, it's, it's very like holographic-y, metallic-y, shiny, sparkly. And like in the light, sometimes it looks pink, sometimes it looks white. And depending on how they move around, depends how the light hits it and how it looks. Very beautiful. And, okay, your fairy guide right now is telling me you need more plants in your house. If you don't have plants in your house, which I feel like you, you may have in your old house. I don't know what your new house looks like right now. They're saying you need more plants in your new house. Why? That earth energy will help keep away bad things, but also it'll help you um, ground yourself and it'll help you clear out anything. Also, if anything tries to attack you psychically, energetically, those plants will take that hit for you. It's kind of sad at how it sounds, but that's part of their duty. That is, and I sh I'm not saying it as in that's their job. No they that that's what they want to do that's their purpose that's what they like to do so you need to do that and Haley your aura your energy oh my god I want to cry just because of how pretty it is okay I'm not gonna cry <sighs> okay I'm crazy no I'm not okay your aura and your energy is rainbow which kind of makes sense because if you look at the guides, well, from looking at the guides that you have, it makes sense. Your energy kind of reflects to your kind of guy, like your guides. And it's beautiful. And I don't know if butterflies mean anything to you, but I kept seeing butterflies flying into your rainbow energy. And it's so pretty. And your guides just, they love you. They want you to, you know, acknowledge them and just be like asking them for advice and for help. They can help you and they can help you get rid of this thing. And if you need more of a push, I can help you. DM me. We can do it privately in a video, whatever you want. I don't care. As long as I can help you sufficiently, that's all I care about. And I'm sure your friend Lana has some great tips as well. She sounds like an awesome person. So Haley, I hope you see this message and just know you have love, you have support. You just need to get into that power mindset and kick that mofo to the curb because you can do it. And again, you can always ask for help from other beings like archangels and you know, your spirit guides, obviously. And you can DM me, I mean, like I said, I am happy to help anyone and anyone who's watching this video, you can probably apply this to yourself too. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. 
Hopefully I can answer them for you. And if you want to have like a conversation with me, DM me on Instagram. So yeah, hope to see you guys soon and peace out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be going through more paranormal creators and relaying messages to them. If you really like these types of videos, I recommend checking out the video I did for Colby Brock from Sam and Colby, where I relayed a similar message to him.